Hey everybody, Andrew Horton here, servermania.tv, and today I'm going to show you how to install cPanel onto your dedicated cloud or virtual private server. Now, the installation process is the same for pretty much every server you're going to work with. The only difference is, is licensing. But in this case here, you don't have to really worry about that. This is just going to cover installation. So go over to cPanel documentation, and you're going to copy the install URL, and then SSH into your server and paste that URL. Now this particular process does take some time, usually 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes 45, depends on how fast your internet connection is on the server, uh, hard drive speed, processor, etc. So we'll let this run, we'll come back, we'll take a look, and uh, we'll proceed on from there. Now that the install process has finished for cPanel, we can now log in. So in this case here, we'll use 192.198.115.10 slash WHM or 2087. Either one works. Go ahead and enter in your root username and your password. And you can now see that cPanel has been installed. Go ahead and agree to the terms. Fill out your uh, details. And um, you may need to update your host name. So um, for this demonstration, I'm actually going to configure a live cPanel server. So the contact email we're going to use is feedback at servermania.com. I'm not going to do any aim name, ICQ, or SMS. The host name, I'm going to actually do web.servermania.io. And then the resolvers, we'll use Google for the first one. And then, you know what, we'll use Google for the second one too. Ethernet 1, let's go to step 3. It's going to change the host name on the dedicated server to match what cPanel has. And if we have more IPs, which we do, we have a slash 29, we can add them in. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to add a couple IPs. All right, let's go to step four. And of course, you can configure bind if you wish. We're just going to do everything default. Uh, name servers, we're going to do dns1.servermania.io dns2.servermania.io and we need to add eight record entries as well as our host name our resolvers are going to be binded to 104, 144, 194.123 and 124 so we need to update those with the registrar to work with our DNS server within cPanel so once your A record has been added, we can move on to the next step, which will be our services. This will take just a few moments. Okay, we'll use peer FTPD. We'll enable CP Hulk. We're gonna whitelist my IP. And keep in mind, you can whitelist other IPs as well. We're just gonna do the IP I'm working with today, just to make sure we don't get banned or anything. That does happen from time to time, where you have to go in and actually unban yourself. So we're going to use system file quotas. And we're going to go ahead and just enable all the defaults that come with cPanel. You can pick the extras if you wish. Okay, so cPanel has been installed. If you have any other questions or would like support, just open up a support ticket or visit servermania.tv for more videos just like this.